As we all know, Madden 22 releases August 20th of this year. Yo, wait, 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 wait. If you don't want to listen to me ranting about why you, the guy that's complaining about Madden, why you're going to buy it anyway, Madden 22, when it drops August, go ahead and skip to about 2 minutes and 57 seconds. That's when I get into the top 5 features. I mean, because you're not buying Madden. On current and next-gen consoles, players with EA Access can try to game out a few days earlier than everyone else. Now, whether you like or dislike the game, every year the topic of conversation around this time of year is Madden. Hugely apart because they have the exclusive license to the NFL and all its likenesses, meaning no other game company can create uh, a simulation football game with NFL teams or players. Hundreds of thousands of fans, NFL players, rookies, video game critics, and more or weigh in on that first look trailer and most people think this looks a lot like last year most fans will complain about the game more and more and the more people that talk about it good or bad the more relevant this game becomes around this time we all know the saying bad publicity is good publicity and madden sells at a high value because of it last year madden 21 uh, had an overwhelmingly negative review uh, and the gamer score was the lowest of its entire series sales on the other hand were up 20% compared to the previous year installments in its first week of release now I don't know what it is about the average Madden fan but it's like we go through these stages of grief right you know shock and denial that the game hasn't changed we get that trailer and it's like what and then pain and guilt knowing since we won't you know we want the latest and greatest software we might just have to settle and go and give EA that 60 plus. And then we become angry after buying the game and our realization has become true and we have to boycott EA. Like, enough's enough. This this is the time. Like, for real. I'm not buying it anymore. Hashtag fix Madden franchise. But let's be honest, people. You will buy Madden. And you will keep breezing the hands of the Madden executives and filling their pockets. And you will continue to buy the game that makes minor adjustments each year you want to know why you want to know why you're gonna keep buying madden because you love the game of football like i love the game of football you know you enter that final stage of grief which is hope hope that one day you can experience the game of football in a whole new light and maybe just maybe ea will make the best game of all time and listen to its fans sad thing is though some of us might not live long enough to see that day you think to yourself you know and, and that day might just be in august so you take a chance i'm just like you man i hope that madden 22 is the game we've all wanted we've all waited for but to me you know i think it's a step in the right direction a lot of people are looking at the footage you know the game leaked footage of the i mean it's not much more they can really do the gameplay so i don't expect the game to change from a visual standpoint via gameplay that much but from what i've seen i think madden 22 as far as franchise mode has stepped in the the uh, has stepped in the right direction you know madden 22 was built and designed for the franchise gamer you know what i mean we wanted features to be in a game that were either taken out or placed on a back burner for madden ultimate team production they already added more depth into franchise this season than they have in a long time and i'm actually excited to test out these new features after doing a little research of my own last night i got some interesting info about these features and compiled them into my top five most requested features that will make madden franchise mode better than it's been in a long time and it's no gas no clickbait I've actually done my research and from what I've read, I think if they do it the right way, it's going to be awesome to play. Before I get into them, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for all Madden 22 news. I'm going to keep it real with you guys and, you know, give you the, the, the news as it comes to me and I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So, starting with number five, talent tree or coaching carousel. Uh, staff management has been in the game for years. There's no debate in that. And based off of how your team performs you'll be able to upgrade certain attributes of a coach or other member of the staff in madden 21 but in madden 22 not only will you be able to upgrade certain coaches make changes to offensive and defensive coordinators but you'll be able to have a talent skill tree to upgrade your coach how you see fit this feature will allow for more uniqueness of each coach 
head offensive and defensive coordinators, giving boosts to your team in franchise mode just like you would in an RPG game. With more than 60 coaching skills arriving at lunch day and more in later updates, I mean, whether you, you know whether you want to boost your health management for your star quarterback's right ankle injury, or temporarily boost uh, you know game preparation and offensive blocking in week three, you'll have full control over your coaching staff and different ways to prepare for each opponent each week. Number four, game preparation or player health. Throughout the NFL season, players are plagued with injuries ranging from minor to season ending and depending on how well a team prepares each week will determine if they're on the right side of the win column. In Madden 22, your preparation will be a key factor in your team's health and whether you win or lose. New franchise practice sessions offer control over the intensity of a team's off days. Now, instead of playing out basic practice drills, you can choose to let your players rest, practice in full gear, or something in between, allowing players to recover from the grueling season and reduce injury risks. It's all you know, built to mirror the real NFL season. It's longer than it's ever been. You know, with the NFL adding 18 weeks, I think preparation will take a greater meaning, you know, from the armchair coaches, you know what I mean, managing their players' health over the long season. Coaches can demand greater uh, intensity and efforts in practice, for example, uh, that will give greater buffs to player skills in short term with the cost of injury and stamina you know of course but uh coaches can rest some players and work out fresher players through the week leading up to game day you know how you prepare each week is your decision alone and with this new fatigue management system in man 22 you know you'll either reap the benefits or settle the loss my number three top requested feature added into franchise mode is next gen stats last season we got a taste of next gen stats on madden 21 for the next gen consoles and i have to say man i was a little impressed initially you get a different look of the next gen graphic after your wide receiver you know just dusted the opposing defense for a 76 yard touchdown you know it's some uh, you know top speed indicator great camera angle the whole nine and then after week six or seven that tired next gen you know graphic starts to look a lot similar to the first but not in madden 22. now we will see other next gen stat overlays that will create different game moments each time something big happens you know ea goes on to say we felt our next evolution uh was on the ai so they have um all these interesting and cool stats that next gen uh stats track you know how good is your quarterback under pressure what is the average time to throw the ball how good are they scrambling in the pocket they're literally like hundreds of different stats that they could use and uh, I believe they're, they're just trying to find the data to help the AI and drive AI and make them more intelligent and more authentic. This year is much more about decision making and it's such a cool amount of interesting data that they could use to inform and drive not only, you know, player movement, but also AI. You know, this adds a different or more immersive uh, level of presentation that has been sorely missed in recent Maddens. And if it's done right, we'll create an NFL like presentation. Just just come to life, man. My number two uh, top requested feature for Madden 22 that's in the game is halftime adjustments. Halftime adjustments will bring a bit of realism to the Florida game. Franchise mode has long uh, featured the ability to choose certain plays to emphasize before the game, you know, during game preparation. Your preparation and game prep um, was to stop, you know, let's say Lamar Jackson via the scramble. But now Lamar Jackson is playing a little different than what you prepared for all week throwing the ball more he has you know 200 plus passing yards 300 touchdowns at the half now with Madden 22 you can adjust on the fly during halftime it's a minor change but it does add a bit more realism to the Florida game this new feature will allow your team to adapt its game plan based off of your opponent's first half strategies at halftime you will get the next gen stats data to help you make second half 
uh, strategy moves so you choose to make uh, but you know I'm not sure if the list of options will have a wide range of selections but just knowing you can change the way your team performs in terms of AI mid game with a different array of options definitely gets me pumped about franchise man and before we get into the top requested feature for madden 22 i'm gonna give y'all my bonus top one uh, feature it is home field advantage or uh game day momentum you know for years we have asked for home field advantage a slight boost to playing at home or an opposing team stadium and now madden 22 will make our request a reality according to gameplay producer clint odenberg game day momentum or home field advantage has its own origins from ncaa but stated that this is a new variation uh and could be considered a modernized version of the blast from the past the new system uses a momentum meter that swings back and forth uh based on the events of the game much like the individual player x-factor boosts stadium uh stadiums will have unique boost to each team when playing in their arena madden 22 system will provide feedback to allow you as a player to know how to unlock what are known as home field advantage m factors while the momentum meter is shifting the m factors are specific to each team and their home stadium while all 32 in the game have one only three were showcased during the preview. This included a traditional home field advantage in Seattle against the Seahawks with hard to see play art on third and fourth down, which is similar to how the basic system in NCAA football was handled. I have to say, man, even though this is number one, I guess you could say on my list as far as bonus, it's the feature that I'm most excited about and I cannot wait to check it out on all the other opposing team stadiums and, and hush the crowd in the process, you feel me? And finally, the number one requested feature in Madden 22 franchise mode is the new scouting system. Arguably the most exciting of all the franchise updates. I, it enables you to send out national and regional scouts to find the best players uh, in college and bring back more reliable information for draft day. The development team seems very excited about this feature in particular. Better scouting was by far the most requested feature according to executive producer Sean Grady, the face of the Madden team. And fans, I think, will be happy to know that it is finally overhauled in Madden 22. And it's not just happening right away. You know, Grady says the team was considering pushing the update to Madden 23, but ultimately decided to make it a part of a live uh, update. I mean, love it or hate it. You know it it's if they're really adding all these features into the game then it's already better than what we have had over the years as far as franchise mode so for me i'm definitely getting the game because of these features you know as we near closer to august 20th and more and more updates drop you know this is obviously and definitely the best place to get the info you know for all things man 22 but Hey, you guys have it. Make sure you guys keep it locked right here on MGN Sports. Until we meet again, stay classy, baby.